These are the characteristics of an entrepreneur, such as motivation, departure point, sources of funds, occupational background, personality characteristics background, and support groups. These are also the attributes of an entrepreneur, such as self-awareness, self-motivated, courage, confidence, positive thinkers, patience, decisiveness, experience, knowledge, information seeking, perseverance, drive, risk taking, innovative, opportunity seeking, demand for efficiency and quality, systematic planning and monitoring, persuasion and networking. Entrepreneurial competence are the skills, knowledge, and behaviors that an entrepreneur uses to successfully develop a business. This competence can be divided into two groups, trade-based and skill-based. Trade-based competence are those which describe a person's general personality trait or characteristics. In other words, entrepreneurial competence is someone who has certain qualities that can make them good at starting a business. Skill-based competence, on the other hand, refer to specific behaviors that entrepreneur must perform in order to run their businesses effectively. These include such things as financial literacy and customer service skills. It is important for entrepreneurs to have both trait-based and skill-based competence in order to succeed at starting new businesses successfully. The entrepreneur needs traits like optimism, persistence, self-confidence, and determination, which will allow them to keep going when things seem impossible. He also needs skills like effective communication with customers and employees so that everyone has access to information about what needs doing and how this it should be done the tools the tools and behavior associated with successful entrepreneurism are the same as for any other type of business the most important tool is to is the ability to identify a market opportunity and the potential customer base successful entrepreneurs know what they want to make how they want to make it and who they want to sell it. This is how they know whether or they not have a viable idea. If you don't know what you're doing, don't start a business. Just go get a job. Another important tool is having a good teamwork around you. When you are starting out as an entrepreneur, it's important to have people who will support you in a indoors and help make your dreams come true. The best way to, uh, for the entrepreneur is to succeed is by hiring smart people who can do their jobs well and keep their mouths shut about what is going on behind closed doors so that everyone can feel like part of the t part of the some team working toward the some goals. Finally, successful entrepreneurs have a person persistence. They will give give up even the even even times get touched for they feel like they're being beaten down or the system or or by another businesses trying to make advantages of them. Tony Tan is a Chinese immigrant. His family went to Philippines for a better future. He was born on January 5, 1953 in Fujian, province of China. His father worked for a Chinese temple in Benondo as a chef. Due to his father's talent in cooking, he was able to acquire an offer to manage a restaurant in Davao. His entire family helped each other in order to make the business progressive. Because of their hard work, Tony was able to send back to school in Manila, University of Santo Tomas. Tony took up a chemical engineering in Santo Tomas. One day, Tony and his friend Alfred went to the plant of Magnolia ice cream for a visit. 
Tony get interested an advertisement franchise po. You want to invest? You say I'm interested in that poster? I want to, but what if no one will buy or no one would enter it? Give it, it a try. We don't know if we'll gain a hard profit. Yes, there's nothing wrong here. We have 350,000 pesos savings. It is enough to purchase a two franchise of ice cream house. What do you think? Grab it, it was the last time. Tony purchased two franchise branch named Kubao Ice Cream House and Kapo Ice Cream House. His entire family went back to Manila to focus on their new business. Tony was only 20 years of age when he opened their ice cream house, which will eventually be the country's leading fast food chain here there in the Philippines. As their business progressed, they started hiring skilled people such as managers, supervisors, and service crew to help them cope up with the operational demand. In two years since we started our ice cream house, I got an idea. What if we we'll offer other products aside from ice cream? That's a brilliant idea, Tony. However, it will increase our profit if ever our customers will love it. It's too good to have another option in, aside from ice cream. They started serving hamburgers and fried chicken. Not for long, chicken, hamburgers, and ice cream are selling very good. Line starts to pile up and success. Tony decided to rebrand the restaurant and leave the ice cream house name on it. Since our restaurant is increasing unexpectedly, I would like to rebrand its name. So, I suggest our icon is B. That's a good thing sir, because bees are known for their hard work to produce honey. We should put happy as the Filipino culture portrays happy customer. Despite from their struggle, they are still happy and keep the positive vibe. That's right. Instead of happy, let's replace to jolly and add the word B. We'll have jolly B. What do you think? That's very iconic name, sir. Jolly B. I'm sure kids will love it. Not just the kid, but also the adults. Jolly Bee was able to ultimately understand the Filipino market by interpreting Filipino sweet blend in their specialty. Jolly Bee continued to prosper over the years. As of now, Jolly Bee has a market value worth of 25 million pesos as a franchise fee. Taking the number one spot in the fast food chain industry in the Philippines, but also started to do main branches all over the world. Tony Tan Kak Tiong, he has strong leadership skills, passion and ambition, creativity, risk tolerance, and motivation.